Hi everyone, Liz here at the Mix and Bowl Homestead. I just wanted to show you what we're gonna be doing today. I have some leftovers that I need to process and it's just a little bit of everything but it needs to get in some cans and onto our shelves. I was supposed to be canning uh, Panamanian short beef um, stew <laughs> but I made a pot and it got eaten. So all the meat is gone but I still have the leftover base you know of this of the um stew so i'm gonna have i'm gonna add some more short ribs i'm gonna go ahead and cook them and add it so i have this defrosting here for our short ribs uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and process them i'm gonna add onions this is already seasoned so i'm not gonna add too much of anything but i just want the um, ribs to get some flavor so we're gonna add an, a whole onion four um, cloves of garlic and I have some cilantro here. I'm just going to grab a handful. I also have garlic powder, onion powder, and some tomillo or thyme, and some um, chicken bouillon. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I already have four quarts of water um, in my stock pot. And once it's boiling, I'm going to go ahead and add my meat. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this little knife. Let me see, make sure you guys can see me. So I'm gonna just go ahead and grab this little knife and open this package. And we gotta get this cleaned up. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and add this frozen meat in here so that it can start um, thawing out and cooking. Adding my onions, my minced garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of Nork beef bouillon and one tablespoon of garlic powder and one tablespoon of onion powder and just some thyme not much just a little bit right before this is uh, right before this is done I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano but not much because oregano can become bitter if you add too much when you're canning it and I'm gonna be adding a handful of cilantro okay, I'm gonna mix all this together cover it and then I'm going to allow that to cook for about 30 minutes okay so while our meat is cooking we're gonna go ahead and add this frozen leftover soup beef soup we're gonna go add it to this old pot here the next one has langa, carrots, and yams, like true yams, like African yams. That's what this has, corn, and celery, cilantro, onions, and garlic. Okay, so our ribs are halfway cooked. We're gonna go ahead and take them out so that we can separate them and put them back to cook for another 30 minutes because all of the other ingredients are already cooked I want to make sure that this is cooked as well I know it doesn't have to because it's going to be pressure cooked but I'd rather be safe than sorry so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess fat I'm still gonna leave some because you gotta have some fat in this rib soup now these pieces here I'm gonna slide right through see it's still red it still needs to cook a little bit more and each of the quart jars that I'm gonna be doing, it's gonna be an individual serving. Okay, so now these bigger pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and put right back into the pot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add the contents of the other pot um, that has the leftover soup to this one and allow this to cook together. I'm just going to take a little bit at a time because I don't want to drop all of that and then, you know, get hot soup splash on my face. 
So you see butternut squash, some meat, some corn, some cassava, some yams. Okay, we are now ready for the canning process. I've already um, sanitized my area, cleaned the sink, and my jars are clean, and they are now in the sink uh, with hot water. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my rack, my canner. I'm using the Presto 23 quart um, dial gauge canner. Um, again, make sure that you're following your canner's instructions if you're following this recipe. And I'm gonna start taking one jar at a time. I'll fill one jar and add it to the canner. I don't wanna like have a whole bunch of cans, jars here. I wanna just do one at a time. Close my funnel. So I'm gonna try to get kind of equal amounts of food in each one of them. And this is a little bit tricky because it still has the bones, but we gotta get them in there. Okay, so now I filled it up for about here with contents, and now we gotta add our liquid. So I'm gonna leave an inch headspace. Make sure that you have already, you know, sanitized all of your utensils and everything that you're using before you start uh, working. Okay, so we're still at the inch pet space. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a paper towel. And with the vinegar, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rim. This is hot. Place my lid. And whoa, here's the first one I'm going in. The bubble, clean my ring. tight and finger tight to me <laughs> literally is where my finger cannot go anymore instead of cranking it down it's just where up to where my finger cannot tie it anymore okay that's two so I'm gonna go ahead and add my lid okay so I'm gonna turn it and again I've turned my stove to medium high and that way it can start building pressure Okay, as you can see, my cannon is starting to vent steadily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my timer for 10 minutes, and we're going to allow this to continue to build pressure for 10 minutes. Okay, so our canner has gone off. So we're gonna go ahead and start our timer, and we're going to allow this to come to 11 pounds of pressure. Once it gets to 11 pounds of pressure, that's when we're gonna start the timer, and this is gonna get canned for 85 minutes. Again, you have to check your altitude. You can go to the National Center for Home Food Preservation and uh, find your altitude. I think you just have to put in your zip code. Let me turn this off. All you have to put in um, is your zip code and it will tell you um, at what altitude you need to be canning. And they also have tons of recipes um, for canning. Again, this is not an approved um, recipe. Um, as far as I know, because of the ingredients I have, it has cassava and I have not found anything with cassava um, to be canned or being you know, approved for canning. So if you follow this recipe, you have to follow it at your own risk. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Okay, as you can see, we're now at the 11 pounds of pressure. And I do apologize, earlier I said for 85 minutes, but well, this has meat, so we're gonna go ahead and can it for 90 minutes. Uh, once again, this is not an approved um, USDA or you know approved by any authorities here in the U.S. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the recommendation for the item that needs um, processing the longest, which is meat. So I'm going to can it for 90 minutes. Okay, so at this point, we're still at the 11 pounds of pressure, but we're right at the edge. So we need to um, continue to adjust our, our stove 
um, to make sure that you know we are not following below 11 pounds of pressure or going above 11 pounds of pressure so just keep an eye on your canner as you are canning um, this is not one of those things that we can just you know set it and forget it <laughs> we have to literally keep our eyeballs here Okay, so our processing time has ended. We're gonna go ahead and remove the pot from the element and place it to um, the other side of the stove where it's not hot. Now we're not gonna do anything to our canner right now. We're gonna go ahead and allow this dial gauge to get to zero and for the back bow to go down and for the canner to be quiet. Once all of those three things are done, we know that it's safe to open our canner and all of the pressure has been released. All right guys, so here are the soups. These are the beef short reef soups that we can on October 11th. I just haven't had a chance to put the video out until now, um, but they came out great. And I wanna let you know that I use, um, I reuse some lids, and I'm not saying to do that. I reuse them because I noticed that the seal was intact, so I took a chance. I'm gonna go ahead and leave one um, to see how long it would last without me opening it. Um, and the other ones we're gonna try to use throughout the winter. So I'm gonna go ahead and place them in my pantry shelves. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing the same. Please continue to prepare, please continue to can continue to make sure that you have what you need for your family until next time may the lord keep you may the lord bless you is my prayer you have a wonderful day